evening our listener welcome on our video today uh, today we are looking at agriculture we are revising agriculture uh, this is from one work we have questions and answers here for you and we request you to watch this video up to the end uh, to the subscribers uh, we really want to thank you guys uh, for your support uh, we request you today uh, one thing uh, like this video a uh, question number nine because we dealt with the other number eight this is number nine describe four characteristics of a uh, fertile soil uh, a, a fertile soil has good water holding capacity it has correct soil ph uh, it has essential element in right proportions it is well aerated and it is free from uh, excess soil uh, bone pest diseases and then the last one it have proper drainage uh, those are the characteristics of a good uh, fertile soil question number 10 give four benefits of a good soil aeration benefits of good soil aeration uh, good soil aeration improves microbial activities Number two, provides the oxygen necessary for respiration by roots. Number three, provides the oxygen required by nitrogen-fixing bacteria. Number four, improves the general performance of a crop. And then number last, makes soil less toxic because of efficient gases change. Number 11, set for physical characteristics of a good dairy cow for breeding what are the physical characteristics of a good dairy cow number one it has a straight top line eh, at the back that line should be should be very straight number two it is wedge in shape wedge in shape uh, those are the uh, characteristics of a good dairy cow. Next question, give five problems associated with shifting cultivation. What are some of the problems associated with the shifting cultivation? Number one, it is difficult to provide and the farmer with extension services. Number two, poor soil and water conservation measures. Number three, farmer cannot have permanent projects on the land. Number four, low yields per unit area are obtained. Number five, cannot be carried out in areas of high population, high density. Number six, a lot of time is wasted in, move, in movement and building new farm structures. Number last, farmer has no incentives to improve land and conserve soil as he has no title deeds uh, these are the problems these are the problems associated with shifting a uh, cultivation <laughs>
lower the quality and the quantity of farm produce and then the last one uh, poor soil have fewer nutrients needed for crop and growth so these are the uh, environmental conditions and that may lead to low crop yield uh, yeah if there is a point that we have not uh, stated here uh, on this video uh, concerning any question uh, you can write in the comment section and when agriculture students come here they can benefit out of your out of your answer because many students uh, come here they do come here to do Vision. Next, give four reasons for prepare, uh, preparing a seedbed before planting. Four reasons for preparing a seedbed before planting. Number one, to kill weeds. Number two, to make planting easy. Number three, to improve soil aeration. Number four, to improve water infiltration. Number five, to expose soil born pests to the heat of the sun and to predator like to the predator like birds next for proper uh, root penetration number 19 give five uses of water in the farm uh, this one is very simple uh, what are some of the uses of water in the farm uh, how do farmers use water this one everyone every agriculture student should get uh, at least all the marks. Number one, it is used in diluting chemicals, e.g., pesticides. Number two, it is used in uh, watering livestock. And it is given to the livestock. Number three, processing of farm produce like coffee. Next, it is used for cooling farm machinery like tractors. Next, it is used. Uh, for rearing fish in fish ponds. Next, it is used in irrigation. Next, it is used in cleaning farm tools, equipment, and structures like pig house. Then the last one, describe the agricultural practices that cause water pollution. Yeah. Agricultural practices that cause water pollution. But one, use of inorganic fertilizers number two use of pesticides number three of uh, cultivation next of uh, grazing due to overstocking next cultivation along uh, river banks next watering livestock directly in the rivers we are through with this video we thank you so much for watching uh, we request you to subscribe if you have not yet subscribed and also uh, like this video to the subscribers we want to thank you guys because you have really supported uh, this channel uh, we request you to like this video and uh, this video will be recommended for other viewers thank you so much until next time uh, goodbye for now